So we see in our basic physics class or physical science class that energy is the capacity to do work. Photosynthesis is going to trap that energy. So we're going to start with light energy. So I'm going to write a general flow on the board and I'll use the picture of the sun as our light energy here radiating out. And our plant is going to use chlorophyll to trap that energy along with these ingredients, CO2 and H2O, that's carbon dioxide and water. And we will see these coming up on our screen in a little bit. And then they're going to make the sugar, which I'm writing out here, and there's some extra oxygen left over. So that sugar is going to be called glucose. And the energy, notice I didn't write anything with the energy, because that's not a material. We don't write that in our equation. We don't see that. But we're going to know that this light energy is going to be captured into this chemical energy of this food. So that's our transfer of energy, from light energy to chemical energy. And I wrote that in green because the chlorophyll is the one that's trapping that. So that's our, our photosynthesis equation. For cellular respiration, we're going to then transform that energy of the food. We're going to take our glucose here, and we're going to burn it. We're going to combine it with oxygen. That's known as oxygen oxidation, and we see the exact op opposite ingredients coming out. Right, so those materials can then be recycled. Now the energy is being released from this glucose molecule, and remember that was chemical energy, is actually going to be transferred to another molecule that you probably haven't heard about called ATP. So we're going to make, ultimately, 36 of these ATP molecules. And think about them like rechargeable batteries, OK? When you have electricity and you charge your cell phone, you're, you're actually operating your cell phone from those um, batteries that have been charged up, right? You actually operate your cell from ATP. <coughs> the interpreter would ask for a feed here. So when you need to do work, you're actually getting that energy from ATP. You're not getting it from the sugar itself. Now, the ingredients to make ATP is a DP and a single P. So this stands for dye or 2-phosphate. This is adenosine diphosphate. When I add a third phosphate, it becomes adenosine triphosphate. And that's where the energy is. And sometimes a lot of books will show this as like a star or something shaped around it, okay? But that's like a rechargeable battery. Now you'll notice that we just wrote up here usable energy. In the cell, in all living things, that usable energy is ATP. That's our, our ultimate source of energy. Now the materials, you'll notice, are the exact opposite in terms of the carbon. So you'll see this carbon dioxide can then go back and be used in photosynthesis. So we can have our recycling here of our ingredients. Our carbon is going to be recycled. Our water is going to be recycled. And that's going to be used again by the plant. The energy, however, is going to flow through once. So I could draw like a whole line going through this. We go from light energy to chemical energy. Then we go from chemical energy to chemical energy. And then your body would use just one of these. Even though you've made 36, right, your body would use one of those. So let's, let's just pretend, for example, that you plug in your cell phone, right? That, that's like using the sugar. And you can make 36 phone calls, and then you need to recharge again. Each phone call uses only one ATP unit of energy. After 36 phone calls, you need to recharge that cell phone. So you would go back to the sugar that you've eaten, and you would make more ATP. So if I'm going to make one phone call, I would actually take one of these ATPs, and I would break that down to those ingredients again, 
And then the energy would come out of this to do work in the cell. And so we see if I draw a line from the light all the way through, that my energy is flowing through once, now it's gone. Um, a lot of it also will be lost as heat. So your book has a picture of this. There's my 